when you look up at the stars what do you think about that we may not be alone the vastness of it all there's a lot to wonder about space the fact is we don't know all the answers about it we know it's vast and beautiful but we are not really sure how vast or how beautiful for that matter some of the things we do know however are downright mind boggling we have collected some of the most amazing facts about space so when you look up at stars you can be even more wowed by what you're looking at neutron stars neutron stars are one of the possible evolutionary end points of high mass stars they are born in a core collapse supernova star explosion and subsequently rotates extremely fast as a consequence of their physics neutron stars can rotate up to 60 times per second after they are born under special circumstances this rate can increase to more than 600 times per second footprints on the moon since the moon does not have an atmosphere there is no wind or water to erode or wash away the apollo astronauts mark on the moon that means their footprints rover prints spaceship prints and discarded materials will stay preserved on the moon for a very long time they won't stay on there forever though the moon still has a dynamic environment it's actually being constantly bombarded with micro meteoroids which means that erosion is still happening on the moon just very slowly 99% of our solar system's mass is the sun our star the sun is so dense that it accounts for a whopping 99% of the mass of our entire solar system that's what allows it to dominate all of the planets gravitationally technically our sun is a g type main sequence star which means that every second it fuses approximately 600 million tons of hydrogen to helium It also converts about 4 million tons of matter to energy as a byproduct. When sun dies, it will become a red giant and envelop the earth and everything on it. But don't worry, they won't happen for another 5 billion years. Fusing of metal pieces in space. This amazing effect is called cold welding. It happens because the atoms of the individual pieces of metal have no way of knowing that they are different pieces of metal. so the lumps join together this won't happen on earth because there is air and water separating the pieces the effect has a lot of implication for spacecraft construction and the future of metal based construction in vacuums the largest asteroid in our solar system is a mammoth piece of space rock named ceres the asteroid which is sometimes known as dwarf planet is almost 600 miles in diameter it's by far the largest in the asteroid belt between mars and jupiter and account for a whole third of belt's mass. Ceres surface area is approximately equal to the land area of India or Argentina. One day on Venus is larger than one year on Earth. Venus has an extremely slow axis rotation that takes about 243 Earth days to complete one full cycle. Funny enough, it takes Venus even less time in Earth days in order to complete one revolution around the sun. It takes 226 Earth days to be exact. Furthermore, the sun rises in every 170 Earth days, which means that the sun will rise only two times during each year, which is also all technically in the same day. Since Venus also rotates clockwise, the sun will rise in the west and set in the east. Jupiter's red spot is shrinking. Jupiter's famous red spot has been shrinking over the past few decades. This spot on the planet is a giant spinning storm that used to be able to fit about 3 Earths. Now, according to data, Only one Earth can fit inside that spot. Interestingly enough, as the storm is shrinking in width, it's actually growing taller in length. As of 2018, scientists are still stumped as to why this phenomenon is occurring in the first place. But some theorize that it may have to do with the jet streams on Jupiter's that have either changed the direction or location. One of the Saturn's moons has a distinct two-tone coloration. Lapetus, one of the Saturn's 26 moons, is actually a pretty unique celestial object. This moon has a very distinct two-tone coloration, with one side to be much more dark than the other. As of 2018, this strange occurrence isn't present on any other moons in the solar system. Lapetus color has to do with its position in relation to the rest of the Saturn's moons. It turns out that Lapetus is way out of Saturn's rings, and because of this, it gets hit with a lot of space debris from objects that might be passing through its orbits. Furthermore, another moon, Phoebe, which is completely dark and further out than Lapetus, revolves clockwise around Saturn and emits a steady stream of particles. Lapetus revolves counterclockwise, meaning that only one side of the Lapetus gets hit with the particles coming off of Phoebe when they revolve past each other. 
This explains why Lapidus is in fully dark but only partially. The position of the North Star will change over time. Navigation will be weird when Polaris stops being the North Star in about 13,000 years. In case you don't know, Earth's axis goes through a motion called precession, which means that the planet's axis will change and trace out the shape of a cone, even if it's slightly. When this occurs, it takes 26,000 years for the axis to trace out a complete cone shape. To add to this, Polaris, the Earth's current North Star, will eventually begin to shift position as Earth undergoes precession. In 3000 BC, it's believed that the North Star was the star Thuban, otherwise known as Alpha Darkoins. In about 13,000 years, the star Vega will be the North Star. But in 26,000 years, Polaris will return to its original position as the Earth continues to go through the precession.